Wake up everybody, a new trailer for Three Hopes just dropped, and at least we saw this one coming. Last Friday we got the Blue Lions trailer, and this time the Black Eagles get the Three Hopes spotlight. Just like before, this video will briefly break down the 1.5 minute trailer, and will attempt to point out details that you may have missed on your first watch. Imperial forces, attack! Do it, Hubert! Following tradition, it starts with some gameplay of Edelgard in combat. Promotional materials confirm Edelgard's attacks under the Armored Lord class are fire-based and inflict the burn status on enemies and can cause a blazing explosion if they keep going as shown in the trailer. I am yours to command. Let us squash them. The trailer then moves on to Hubert and we briefly see some more colored pots. The one on the left is purple, and I noticed this in the first trailer but I honestly chalked it off as blue but purple looking because of the lighting, but yeah, purple pots exist and I don't know what those are for yet. Nothing really of note for him since we're already familiar with the design of his attacks. Impressive. This is my stage. Even the most beautiful rose has thorns. Have you realized that yet? Dorothea, similar to Annette, is shown incorporating musical effects to her attacks, but to a far greater extent it seems. Which makes sense since she's canonically a songstress. They seem to have a wide-ranging AoE effect. We also see her perform some lightning magic and summon meteors which explode upon reaching the ground. This tracks with her three houses spell list as she does learn Thunder, Thoron, and Meteor. You look amazing even when you're fighting people, Dorothea! Call me Bernie Bear again. Bernadetta is next and wow, did she just freeze every enemy around her for a moment? It looks like this could be a signature ability of hers. She does learn Enclosure which does stun the target in place for one turn in three houses, although this just seems like a unique ability and not based off an art like that. She later attacks them with arrows similar to Ash like in the Blue Lions trailer but in a far more stilted and nervous fashion fitting for her, before summoning a rain of arrows she tries hiding from. Personally, I think she won the trailer. I really appreciate how animations are so expressive in this trailer, and how the archers are so much better handled than in Warriors 1, seemingly. Playing with archers is a really exciting prospect, and now I'm very excited for Ignaz. I am Ferdinand von Iron. Have at you! Such is the cost of war. <laughs> Follow my lead! The trailer's music then changes as we're introduced to Ferdinand in a cutscene, just like with Felix. While we don't see the lance he's holding during it, we do know that the weapon he uses for gameplay is a steel lance, and similar to Sylvain, he proceeds to march onwards while sweeping every mook that happened to be around him. Nothing can stop me! Well, unless you bring my father to the fight. <laughs> You ready to do this, Petra? Then there's Caspar, and wow, he got a whole new haircut and a scar that kind of makes him look like Holst or Naruto, or there's a lot of comparisons and memes that can be made from this. I'm really excited for the explanation behind this new scar. Anyways, he's seen swinging a steel axe around to cause tornadoes, and he blasts the ground, but chooses to finish his attack with a very strong punch that sends kingdom soldiers flying. Given that his model literally has gauntlets attached to his waist, I'm hoping he excels in brawling because that is certainly an interesting design choice to say the least. Oh, and similar to the original game, his comments make clear he's still terrified of the idea of ever facing his dad, Count Burglies, in battle. I'll be honest, I was hoping for a more fuckboy hairstyle, and it's a little disappointing, but the scar is certainly a unique detail. Maybe he fought the wrong old man for some food. Hey, where did you get that? Uh, get what? It looks awfully fresh. You didn't take that from the kitchen, did you? Uh, I'm a defender of the helpless. You really think I'd steal some food for a cat? I got it by fighting an old guy in the dining hall. I want it fair and square. More, Caspar. You and I will demolish them. In the name of Bridget! Lend me your wisdom! Petra is up next and is shown swinging two sets of blade at a very high speed, doing a spin attack with a steel sword and wrapping up her assault with arrows which look wind based, which fits as she has access to wind magic in the vanilla game and excels in swords and bows and is unsurprisingly the assassin in this game. She is wearing a headdress that may be a crown? She is the princess of Bridget after all, and maybe Bridget also has a more important and, dare I say, visible role in this alternate timeline. That would be really cool. As long as that's all you want, I 
wish our enemy was as disinterested in this fight as I am. <laughs> Linhart is last to be showcased, and I think his new design is very clean. Loving the new hairstyle, too. His lazy butt is using light magic to beam through Alliance soldiers, and he also seems to have little gusts of wind around his attacks as well. Some other things to notice is that only Edelgard is shown using a signature weapon, unlike the Blue Lions, which makes sense as most of their house have access to the Ten Elites' relics and did side with Nemesis back in the day, compared to the Empire, who had only the Saint's Crest and some Crest attuned weapons to work with. It's still up in the air if Ferdinand or Linhart will get something new to work with, though. The only sacred weapon from the Empire wasn't even a weapon. It was the Ocane Shield, which was possessed by the Iyer family and compatible with the Keyhole Crest. Finally, it's worth mentioning, Monica's nowhere to be seen in the trailer despite being technically a Black Eagle. And I say technically because if she didn't go missing in Three Hopes' backstory, then she would have already graduated by the time the main plot kicks in. So who knows what her status is right now. In any case, I suspect we might get a trailer at some point showcasing all new characters introduced, and I suppose we'll have to stay tuned for Friday as the Golden Deer should be revealed then. And that's it. If you ask me, I think Bernadetta is the winner here. Adorable new hairstyle and in my opinion, the most memorable animations in Spotlight. Petra and Kaspar are a close second for me though. The latter might have silly hair and not what I had hoped for, but I can't help but wonder what justification there will be for his new injury and I really hope it's cool and significant. What do you all think? What's your favorite design? Let me know down below. With that all being said, thank you so much. The channel actually just hit 94,000 subscribers, which is so, so cool. Thank you everyone so much for supporting the channel and enjoying this content. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you saw this and you recommended, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot. And with that all being said, Enjoy your weekend and have a good one. Deuces.